what it was. Y'all already know who it is, and uh, y'all tuned in with priceless knowledge yourself. And this right here, this ain't nothing but some cosmic insight. And before we even get started, man, I just want to thank all y'all for y'all's concern and your well wishes and your patience, too, because uh, I know y'all are used to me dropping consistently, but <laughs> I just wasn't able to do it, man. I have Jupiter in the sixth house, so I don't often get sick, but this time I was. And I wasn't necessarily on my deathbed or anything like that, but it just knocked the wind out of me. But that's dead now. I'm bad. <laughs> and so everything's beautiful. So we finna get back to work. And when I say work, I mean hard work because we talk about Saturn. And so this right here, this is a little something, something about those people that have Saturn and Libra in their natal chart. And see, before we even go there, if you don't know my style, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tell you a little bit about Saturn. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of the energy that comes along with it and how it might affect you. Then after that, we're going to talk a little bit about what the sign of Libra is actually all about. Then after that. Shit don't win out. <laughs> after that, we're going to bring it to a culmination, which fortunately for you, that's what I do best. So without wasting any more time, let's get it cracking. So Saturn, Daddy Saturn. If you didn't know by now, this is the resident disciplinarian and taskmaster of the Zodiac. Because uh, anytime you're fooling with Saturn, it ain't going to make shit easy at all. As a matter of fact, being the ruler of the sign of Capricorn in the 10th house of the astrological chart, Saturn always is going to want you to put the work in and take the necessary steps if you ever want to see tangible results. You see, it's like that priceless message of Jesus Christ himself. If Jupiter is going to feed you a fish and bless you for a day, oh. Saturn, Saturn's going to put you through some shit that teaches you to fish and you'll never be hungry again. <laughs> I don't think y'all hear me, though. See, when I was a child and I thought like a child and I was living in my immature ways, I was afraid of Saturn. Saturn represents hard work. Saturn represents discipline. Right? Saturn represents hard lessons learned. But as I've matured and I've come into my own and my spirituality, I love Saturn. Saturn's one of my favorites, man. Maybe it's because I got Saturn in Sagittarius, though. It just changes my whole belief system. And, uh, you know, another thing about Saturn is, is you kids these days, y'all be talking about pressure. <laughs> uh, you ain't pressure, man. Saturn is pressure. And pressure do two things. Pressure either bust your pipe or make a diamond out of you. Yeah, I see. You. I see you see me shine. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's Saturn, man. And Saturn also kind of co-rules the sign of Aquarius in the 11th house of the astrological chart. So that says it's okay to want to rule the world, too, besides all that hard work and discipline. And, you know, Saturn is all about time and all of its usefulness and all of its limitations, too. And being about time, when we put that into a human mind, it's also about old age and all the lessons that that could teach us. And wherever Saturn shows up in a chart, it's going to show where we feel restricted and where we see obligations, where we see fears. And uh, it shows where we might be holding ourselves back or where the universe might be holding us back a little bit so we can catch up on some karma. <laughs> and the sign placement of Saturn This is going to show the type of energy Connected with our obligations Whereas the house placement of Saturn This is going to show the area of life That we feel restricted in And where we're going to have to work harder in To obtain the things that are coming to us Okay And then when we're looking at the aspects These show the most direct involvement Of other areas of our life With feelings of responsibility Alright And so lastly Saturn takes about 28 to 32 years to transverse the whole zodiac and come back to the place where it was at the time of your birth. And it's at that time that that signifies that Saturn return. And that's one of the most feared times in astrology because it signifies the end and the beginning of a lot of karmic cycles in your life. And it's at that time that you might see a lot of hardships. Or if you're on top of your shit, you might see some restrictions ease up on you. Either way it goes, man, you're going to see some changes in that time, man. And, uh, <laughs> Like I said, it's daddy energy, Saturn. And so when we're talking about the sign of Libra now, okay, Libra is the seventh sign of the Zodiac. It rules over the seventh house and its symbol is the scales. It's ruled by Venus and its mantra is I relate. Oh, and it rules over the lower back and the kidneys too, man. 
And so being the seven sign of the zodiac is at this point where things kind of shift because the first six signs, they kind of focus on the individual self. Whereas these last six, they put more focus on the individual's interactions with others in the world. OK, so the Libra signs focus first and foremost is on others and on partnerships and how we relate to them. OK, and it's the sign of partnership because with Libra, everything's done better in a pair, man. And this energy really is good like that because it seeks balance wherever it is being the sign of the scales. You feel me? And it's all about harmony and fair play. And Libra is a real team player, man. But its main concern is combining with that one energy that evens it out, man. And being ruled by Venus. Oh, Libra is all about love and beauty and aesthetics and a money too. <laughs> Don't ever forget that. And I think the main thing that you got to remember with Libra energy is people call it indecisive, but it's not indecisive. It's objective. It's objective. So now we're looking at Saturn. We're taking Saturn and putting Saturn in Libra. <laughs> oh, it ain't that bad. <laughs> See, the main thing to remember about this one in particular is that Saturn's exalted here. So this is where he does some of his best shit, man. And likewise, individuals with displacements, they're typically some of the coolest, most beautiful, talented, and helpful people there are in the whole world. And uh, there ain't too many that are more prolific in the business arena either. You know, these people right here, these are people whose name is also a brand, like Beyonce, like Leonardo da Vinci, like uh, Kim Kardashian, like Justin Timberlake. Like Liam Neeson, like Alicia Keys, Sting. OK, but another thing that sticks out about all those people, if you do a little digging, if you pay attention, is their relationships. And albeit in different ways, they all have their significances and they all have their issues. And that's because relationships take on a whole nother level of seriousness for these people right here. And somebody and finding somebody to match that energy with them is probably going to take a lot of bullshit and knocks to fight through. But it's something that's going to have to be done. <laughs> this is Saturn, man. It's going to have to be done. And uh, these people right here, they kind of inherently know this, man. But this is Saturn, too. So it isn't necessarily going to make it easier either. Because the thing is, they take commitment so fucking serious and their sense of responsibility for other people is so deep and so strong that they can kind of instinctively resist new connections. And then some of them are afraid of being stuck in a relationship all the way around. And it's not that they're afraid of commitment and responsibility because, no, that's not it. It's just that they don't want the passion and intense involvement that goes along with it. <laughs> and that's interesting to me, man. But, you know. I will say that there are some on that other end of the spectrum that are actually in committed and long-standing partnerships like Beyonce that are exactly that. Partnerships. <laughs> partnerships, man. A marriage or a relationship, a marriage or a relationship that is much more of a business arrangement than an intimate connection. And, uh, <laughs> that's rough. That's rough. And then, you know, you have to realize there always has to be some kind of balance when we're looking at Libra right here established. And with this, it's Saturn, so it's going to take time for that to happen. And another thing with Saturn and Libra people is, is, you know, when they're younger, they're the type of people who kind of come off like they don't give a damn about people. And it's, you know, it. But the thing is, they do. They do. They do, man. As a matter of fact. They care so much that they tend to avoid certain situations that might, you know, call for a firm commitment because they know how hard they go. They know the level of commitment they bring and they don't know if anybody else can match that, man. So it's just going to take time and maturity for them to ever feel comfortable showing that part of themselves and allowing themselves to feel vulnerable. And hey, let me also tell y'all that uh, when I see Saturn and Libra in somebody's natal chart, I see a perfectionist. For real, man. I see somebody who embodies a business savvy, but also somebody who's utterly devoted to justice and helping people from all walks of life. You feel me? I see a master at rendering their relationships beneficial for all parts involved. You know, I see somebody with both exquisite ideals, exquisite tastes and strict principles who through cardinal willpower, because this is cardinal willpower. You know, can act with both determination and class in order to, you know, never let a petty misunderstanding cloud their judgment. 
especially in their relationships. That's why their relationships last the test of time when they get in on it, man. Let's believe, man. They're going to give everybody they're involved with that same level of commitment. So it just takes time for ever for them to ever decide, you know, exactly who or what is worth committing to. And a lot of the times, you know, that means finding a partner who brings them that balance. That's what they need. And once they find that, it's only popping, man. But in order to do that, they're going to have to open up. But in order for them to open up, it's just going to take time. Because intimacy and vulnerability, they go hand in hand and they don't like that. <laughs> so, yeah, and they're going to learn. <laughs> they going to learn. This is Saturn, so they're going to learn. <laughs> and once they do, nobody's going to be more loyal than these folks. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of lessons to be learned in these folks relationships, best believe. And that's why a lot of them are more drawn to older and more mature and wise people who have this anchoring effect on them. And with Saturn and Libra, <laughs> hey, man, a lot of times their relationships actually are or could potentially actually be some type of business institution like Hove and Beyonce. Like I said, man, or Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats or Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. You know what I'm saying? Both of them have Saturn and Libra, you know, where them coming together, you know what I'm saying? It is definitely something that, you know, could have a type of energy effect that brings them both, you know, long term, long term happiness, balance. And uh, in this case, sometimes business, man, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's going to take some work. It's going to take some work. This is Saturn. So it's just going to take some work. And lastly, I've also noticed that like 11 out of 12 times, man, before it's all said and done, most people with this placement, they do develop some type of political opinion and get involved with some sort of activism in some way. Because here is Saturn working hard to bring beauty and harmony to the whole world, to the whole world. But hey. You don't have to believe a word I just said, because uh, even if it don't play out like that, just because you built like that, you don't have to build like that. And what I mean is we all have all this energy available to us. What you do with it is what you do with it. And even beyond that, it's not about what you do. It's about how you do it. And that's some priceless knowledge in itself. And this being some priceless knowledge of self. Hey, I appreciate all the love and support, man. This is that time that you should be hitting that like button, man. Uh, if you're waiting on a reading, I got that coming out for you soon, man. Okay. And, uh, by the way, if you ain't hit that like button, you should either, you should be hitting that dislike button. If you ain't hit either one, just bump it on down. <laughs> hey, man. If you're interested in the astrological readings whatsoever, you can either hit me up in the comments below or you can email me at mr.turner1300 at gmail.com, man. And uh, the same thing goes if you want some merch. You can dig it, yeah. But just remember that uh, you can get all the merch you want, man. And I want to sell it to you. But the type of swag that I have is got to be in you and not on you. Let me put it in. <laughs> nah, I'll push you aside, though, man. When I get these readings I get done sent out today, my schedule is clear back up. Y'all get at me, man. Because I'm really the best at what I do. And uh, I'm not too expensive either. I'll get at you. I love y'all. Keep it true.